What could happen if you didn't have an early warning system when you operated mobile equipment underground? Collision avoidance is a standalone system to help prevent vehicle to pedestrian, vehicle to vehicle, vehicle to hazard collisions. It is also being designed for asset tracking and to give equipment and personal location via the safety track system. All employees have to realize that this collision avoidance system is not to replace existing rules and procedures, but to enhance them. There are 11 key areas to collision avoidance. They are checking unit at start of shift, test button, vehicle to pedestrian signal, vehicle to multiple pedestrian signal, vehicle to vehicle signal, vehicle to multiple vehicle signal, parked vehicle signal, Vehicle to hazard signal. 50 ton haulage vehicle signal. Safe zones. Fixed hazard signal. We will now cover each point in detail. The operator will circle and check their vehicle. Once the unit is checked, the operator will start the vehicle. The collision avoidance unit lights will now flash on and then go off. By pushing the test button, the employee can check to see if the unit lights are operational. When the vehicle meets a pedestrian, the red light on the unit comes on. When the vehicle meets multiple pedestrians, the red light starts to flash. When the vehicle meets another vehicle, the blue light on the unit will come on. When the vehicle meets multiple vehicles, the blue light will start to flash. When only one vehicle remains in the area, the flashing blue light will return to a constant blue light. Once you park a vehicle and turn it off, the vehicle will no longer transmit a blue light signal to other vehicles. The vehicle now becomes a hazard and will transmit a yellow light signal. The yellow light will come on if you are approaching a parked vehicle or a mobile hanging hazard warning unit. Safe zones are areas around operator compartments and passenger areas in cabs and jeeps. This is unique to vehicle minor situations. Areas in close proximity to the vehicle in which neither minor nor vehicle operator will cause a warning signal. This prevents constant warnings given and received by the vehicle's unit. Fifty ton haulage vehicles. These are vehicles that have the right of way on the ramp and cannot be passed. They will transmit a white light signal. Mm -hmm. 
mobile hanging units that can be placed anywhere to identify a hazard, such as a crosswalk, disabled unit, etc. In summary, there are some key points that have to be remembered. The collision avoidance system is not to replace, but to enhance existing rules and procedures, and is for your protection. Collision avoidance is a standalone system and needs no mine infrastructure to work. If your unit is broken, tag it out and get a replacement unit. Remember that collision avoidance was designed as an early warning system for your safety and an enhancement to existing rules and procedures.